that loss last year. Should be a backdrop going into this year. They should be feeling that, and that should be fueling them this year. How far do you think that takes them? Uh, not very. And when I say not very, I, I would hope it would. Don't get me wrong. Like, it can be a motivating factor if you have the right kind of team and the right kind of roster, and I'm not sure that they do. Brad because- Marshan has been really outspoken about it. I, you know, he's done interviews with Greg Wyshynski of ESPN. Like, he is using that as a motivating factor. Now that he's the captain, maybe he can be more outspoken about it. There hasn't been that much upheaval. I mean, you're missing the biggest piece of all, obviously. But, yeah, I think it's going to be a factor. It, so it pushes them. If it were 2010 and 2011 again, I might say yes. When they had, you know, young, really deep team in its prime and had something to prove and a chip on its shoulder, all of that, I would say yes. I just don't think they have that kind of team now. Up three to one. Puck on your stick with a breakaway, Martian, at the end of game five. Overtime game five. Game six, up 4-3 and 5-4 in the third period and blew them both. Game seven, up 3-2, minute left, goalie pulled. You couldn't close that out. Oh, I know you've forgotten most of those details, and I don't blame you. That is harrowing. It was ugly. That, again, that would have been a fitting 100-year <laughs> celebrate. That really is brewing right there. <laughs> and it, But as I say that, you were leading on the scoreboard in those games. You didn't control the series. You weren't the better team. It's not like you deserve to win that thing. No, once again, your decor uh wilted there was a, a heavy physical four checking team your de- your decor wilted in the face of that pressure your goaltending wilted behind that defensive performance and it all fell apart you sucked in game seven you sucked it was a miracle you were up three two in the first place but be that as it may three two game seven goalie pull just shovel it into the empty net and you're on to the second round and they couldn't do it so that should still be sticking with those guys down there that's a backdrop. Who has the most pressure on them heading into this year? Murray. Uh, I mean, probably one of the goalies. I mean, you know, I don't know. The whole organization. The now, coach. Let me give you one. I mean, the organization does. They're fine. The tickets are sold. They're making I mean, money. I have one that's stuck in my car for a while, so you go first. To me, it's Montgomery. To me, it's Montgomery. And I just say that because you know that's where they start down there. If something goes wrong, they fire the coach. It's their default. Blame the coach. Fire the coach. And... There was some goofy stuff Montgomery did in that series. Now, I I liked that. I didn't mind the line combinations and all this, but he really fussed with those lines in that series. Do you remember the stuff oh, he was sure, doing? Of course. And uh, so he did some really unconventional and basically unprecedented things, things he hadn't done all season long with those lines. And they blew the series. And I think it was dicey that he made it through the offseason, given the way they handle their coaches down there. So... I think management looks at him and thinks he blew the series. Ownership might look at him and thinks he blew the series. I mean, that's usually what they do down there. The the GM's in lockstep with the owner, and they blame the coach. So they blame the coach for the playoff loss last year. And if they get off to a bad start, that's going to be the first thing to go is going to be Jim Montgomery. Again, I didn't mind the line changing at all. I think I might blame him more for the goalie stuff, that he should have gone to Swayman earlier. Or they didn't, he didn't handle the goalie thing, but I, I then again I'll chalk that up to when you have two number one goalies, that's what you're sort of destined to run into. You can't navigate that because no team is meant to have two number ones. It's stupid, and I'm against it. And I wish they traded one of those goalies. But either way, I think it starts with Montgomery. They get off to a bad start. He could be fired by Thanksgiving. Honestly, I think that's on the table. So I tried to focus on players, and uh, to me, there were two that stick out, one over the other. And I'm still down on McAvoy from the way that thing ended last year. I'm sorry. I I just think that if the defense is going to be the strength of the team, and I understand they're short at center, so you could say Zaka, you could say Coyle, certainly. Like, there are a lot of places to look. Marshand, Pasternak, who's my second guy. But honestly, if it's going to be a defense first team, McAvoy. I think McAvoy's got to go to another level. Like, they need him now to go to another level. And it's not just about the defense. It's about the offense, really. I agree 100%. I, I, the whole thing. Uh, McAvoy would be my top player. It, Marshan is the captain, but it's McAvoy's team. That's how I feel. Like, okay, look, the, when's this, this, you know, this Norris Trophy candidate going to really pop? Last year, he was 15th in the league in scoring among, among defensemen. Now, Carlson was first, but he was, you know, that team was horrible. He was a minus 28. All the other guys were plus. 
Okay, so, you know, it's not a, a pure measure, just the offensive output. But, Mike, if they're going to have trouble up the middle at center, McAvoy's got to go to the next level now. It's time. It's been time. So, so uh, to me, McAvoy's a big one. In 2021, he was fifth in Norris voting. In 2022, he was fourth in Norris voting. He dropped to 18th last year. So he's got to get back to that top five at bare minimum. And I'd say, you know, that finalist. That, yes. The finalist list of the top three. I, I'm, that's what I was just going to say. I want him in the top three. And then, but even more than that, he's got to lead them to playoff wins. Lead them to playoff series wins. If Marchand's a captain, but it's McAvoy's team now, meaning he's their best young player. He's the franchise guy. And... It's got to be about him, and I'm with you. Um, McAvoy's second on my list. I mean, there there have got to be nights where he takes the game over, where he just he, he controls the game. There have to be more of those. Now, on the centers, obviously there's a lot. There's a lot on riding on Zaka and Coyle to elevate their games or the Patra kid or the Beecher kid to emerge and actually stick. But if any or all of those things fail, if Zaka's not a number one center, if Coyle's not a number two, if the two kids don't stick, are we blaming those guys? No. We're blaming Sweeney. Correct. So th that's sort of how I look at that. I mean, Coyle, they don't have the horses. Coyle is what he is. I'm sorry. I mean, I like him, but he's a third line center. And that is what he is. He's been around the league long enough. Zaka, there might be ceiling there that has been unrealized. I mean, he got a hell of a chance in Jersey, but maybe it just wasn't the place for him. He was a sixth overall pick. Now he's going to play regularly with Pasternak, and so let's see. Uh, I might blame Zaka a little bit more than I would Coyle, but for the most part, those guys are what they are. They've been in the league long enough. We know what they are, and the Bruins have put them in number one and number two center roles, and if they're not suited to those roles, I blame the team. I don't blame them. And if the kids don't pan out, I don't blame the kids. Like, you're ready or you're not. It's not It's not their time. If in four years, Patra or Beecher are any you know minor leaguers, I'll blame them but they might be before their time. So uh, that one's on Sweeney. I, I think there's pressure on Marchand too. You know, he's got a, he's the captain. He's got a lead. He's got to produce on the ice, but he can't play like a total a-hole. And in the past, when he hasn't been able to play like a total a-hole, his game has suffered. He's 30 what? Something old. 35, I think, isn't he? Coming off of the double hips. There's a lot of weight that comes with that C. Can he be the same guy? I think so. Marshan navigating that is pressure for sure. Uh, so that's just one way to look at the season. Who has the most pressure on him? What do you expect? It's a playoff team, right? It should yeah, be. Absolutely should. Oh, be. it should be. With their decor, and again, regular season, they should be able to win a crap ton of regular season games. Again, on the back end, and the goalies too, for that matter. I mean, they're deep there. They should be able to win a lot of games.